And that is the purpose of every single one of us in here, is that time that you have with you and God. Sure, you might have children, you might have a job, you might have things in this world, but the thing that you were created for is your purpose in God. And when you desire your purpose of God, when you walk forward, everything else falls into place. And the Lord started speaking to me. He said, this church is in need of a blood transfusion. Because we got some bad blood. And a blood transfusion, there are a couple of causes to have bad blood. Major illness, cancer, cancer treatment, major injury, or a major surgery. And I started reading up these things, and I was, it kind of just started off in my own curiosity, and the Lord started speaking through me through it. He said, son, cancer is when one's own body turns against itself. That when the, in the spiritual realm, when you have spiritual cancer, it's when the, the pain and the turmoil and the strife and the depression finally sets in and it starts killing you. And it chokes out. The very, the, the, the very function that is supposed to create life is the very thing that is destroying life. Your body is multiplying in cells that are, that are at exponential rates that it's not supposed to. And the, and the information and that's, that, that's, that's being copied isn't what's supposed to be put in for life. And you start multiplying the things in your life that cause death. And it takes away from the blood. I want to tell you tonight that there is plenty of blood to be covered. That there is plenty of blood to fix the illness. Another cause is major surgery. Born again believers that are happy, that are walking with God. And when God starts working on your life and taking out the things that were harming you, going in inside of you and changing your heart, going in inside of you and creating in you a clean heart and renewing in you a right spirit, those major surgeries require the blood. Because without the blood of Christ, you will never survive. The problem doesn't rely in ourself, but it, it relies in the inside of our bones. You see, the Bible says that, that it will be the Holy Ghost, we are fire, that is shut up on the inside of your bones, and it mimics in the natural, that on the inside of your bones is your bone marrow. What produces blood? Bone marrow. So when you let God come up in your bones and shut up inside you as a roaring flame, you're letting him bring life into your bones. You're letting him bring life into your body. I want to, call, I want to tell you about something called a total transfusion. There's a procedure when you're, when you're so sin sick and when you're so maimed, when you're so dirty, when you're so broken, that you have to have all of you bled out. And fresh, clean blood has to be bled in. It takes a long time. It takes a long process. But at the end, you have none of your own. And the blood that has been transfused is now your own. The identity that was dead and the identity that left is no longer your own. You've taken on the identity of Christ. And he has shut up inside of your bones. There's a reason the Bible says that life is in the blood in the Old Testament. Two more things. The Bible says that what happens when you fall and you get cut and you get scraped? You start bleeding. I said, Lord, how does that have anything to do with the others? The Lord said that we are holding on to the bad blood and when you fall and you you scrape your knee in life, when the blood comes out, it's mending the hole. That when others come against you, when others hurt you and maim you and damage your spirit, when the blood starts flowing out, it heals you. So instead of despising the injuries and despising the wounds, let some of that blood, let some of that blood bleed out on somebody. Now I'm not telling you to go spray blood all over these sisters in here, but the blood that is on the inside of your heart, the, 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 the thing that God has applied to your heart, the salvation that God has given you, share it with somebody else because when they are hurting you, it is not them. 
It's their longing and their emptiness and their brokenness. And they're searching for something and they're hungry for something. And they need something. And you're the only one that has the answer. Because you've had the blood transfusion. You've died to yourself and put on Christ. God uses your injuries to cover the others beside you. Christ, when he was beaten on the cross, they took a spear and lodged it up into his side, and water and blood flowed out. And your healing and your salvation and your eternal life comes from that blood. So when you have bad blood, it's not the blood of Christ. When you have unforgiveness, it's not the blood of Christ. Because I want to tell you that the blood of Christ says that charity covers a multitude of sins. And the love of Christ calls us to be meek, wise, and harmless as a dove. Don't despise the blood. Don't despise the process. And let the Lord use you.